Let's make some char cloth. All you need is a tin can. It doesn't have to be an Altoids can, but I happened to find this at my parents' house. And I knew others had used it with some, with great luck. You can use um, any kind of metal can that has a, that you can close up. Then you poke a couple holes in it. Some people just put one hole in the middle. Some put multiple. Some say you don't even need the hole and that the, the hinges on the side, they say, will vent it enough. But I went ahead and I just put two holes in it. You also need cloth to char. You need to choose anything that's not synthetic. This is denim, so it's 100% cotton. You can also use linen. Uh, I just cut them into squares. Again, I found these at my mother's house. Thank goodness she saved all kinds of stuff. She used to use the cut the legs off of uh, old ripped up jeans, the lower part, and make uh, hot pads out of them. But anyway, I've come around across that material, and I'm glad I saved it as well. So that's what I'm going to use From what I've read, all you do is you stack your little cloths in here. I don't know if there's a certain amount you're supposed to do or not do. I think you're not supposed to get it too, too tightly packed. I'd love to get all this in there, but I'm afraid. Tell you what, we'll take that out. We'll just leave those. I think that's seven pieces in there. And that does give some room for the air to circulate. All right. We'll close that up. I'll show you what to do next. To make the char cloth, you burn it, but not consume it with the fire. So I'm going to be using a just a backpacking stove here. If I can get this to balance on here. Alright, we're gonna get that going. And the point of the holes, um, besides that's letting the gases off, when it stops smoking, the white smoke quits coming out of there, and then it means it's done. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Oh yeah, there it goes. Cool. And he's supposed to let it burn until that quits burning out of those two holes. Let's we'll see how long that takes. I was going to do this on, on my gas stove in the house, my regular stove, but I thought maybe the, when the paint burns off the can, it might stink the house up. So I decided just to come outside. But I guess once the paint is off the can, I can reuse it and I can do this in the house. It has quit smoking uh, coming out of those holes, so I turned it off a few minutes ago and let it cool down. And then we're going to see what it's see what it looks like. Oh, that cooled off pretty quick. It's only been a couple of minutes. Let's see what we got. Oh, <gasps> look at that! 
golly, that was fast. I was not expecting that. Cool. Now the next thing to do is see what, uh, if it'll catch a spark easy. Wow, that was fun. Bigger rod. Maybe this will work. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, and then you would just add your tender to that. Blow on it and it keeps on uh, smoldering. So then, let's see if I have any tender I can find around here. That's not a very good attempt at that, but... Oh, let's see what I can find real fast before that goes out. Here's just some grass clippings. Brought my bellows. I probably didn't pick a great fire tender. I wasn't thinking I was going to do that. It was just kind of a last spur of the moment thing. Ouch! Dang it! Something's hot on the backside. Well, you get the picture. I should have uh, should have thought ahead of time and had some good material here. But that ember burns the wall plenty long enough to uh, get it started. If I just had some proper tinder. Still pretty cool. I wonder if cat hair would catch up. Nah, I've lost my ember. Alright, well that's pretty cool. That's how to make charcoal.